Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back. And it's so lovely to have you here today. And thank you for listening. Thank you for bringing your energy into this space. And I don't know about you, but it's been a very interesting start to 2021 energetically. And I've been feeling the highs and the lows and the in-betweens and just navigating whatever arises in the moment, feeling it as well as moving through it is part of what it is to be human, right? And so I've just found it so, so interesting. Today I want to talk about um, confidence crisis. <laughs> I let me tell you a story about what I've experienced, and by sharing this, I'm sure that you have been experiencing this too since we are here together. So I don't know lots about astrology but I know that we've moved through this Capricorn season and I have Capricorn in my second house. Now for me how I personally read this is that it brought up a lot of feelings around rooted in some limiting beliefs that I had around my confidence, my self-esteem in respect of my life's work. So in this respect, it was around me feeling like the things that were really have been really important to me in my life's work as a healer, as a mentor, as a channel, to step right into that more fully this year, more fully, because it's layers, right? We, we, let me come back to this in a minute, but to step into this more fully, I had a test, the universe gave me a test to see whether I was going to stick to the old way of the old habitual way of being or whether I was just going to lean in to basically a choice that I'd made myself which was to be far more radical and risk-taking in my, I want to say exposure, my visibility this year. And when I speak to this, I just want to share that, um, you know, when we can decide to, to make a decision, to make a choice to go down a certain route, and it's a route that we, that you are unfamiliar with, it's a, and I know that you're going to understand this as I share this, a route that you're unfamiliar with is like uncharted territory, but you know deep down in your soul that that's where you want to go, that that is what the messages from your higher self, your soul is trying to um, connect with you on this. And you know that it's the right thing to do, the right avenue to take, because it feels really exciting. And we make that decision. Yep, I'm going to go for that. And then you walk towards it, maybe in a sort of 50% to 75% worth of energy because it feels strange, it feels uncomfortable. And you tell yourself that it's, you know, I'll just try this in a sort of diluted way just to kind of get used to it and that's okay there's no judgment call for yourself on that is 
about observing and witnessing yourself in your thought processes and actions. And what happened for me was that, as I say, I decided that I would go down this path of being more exposed, more visual, doing much more um, video, but also doing this, this podcast more regularly. And what happened was that I had a meltdown. <laughs> I had a meltdown because I, despite my heart and soul going, yeah, you know, like my spirit team cheering me on, um, I fell into this sort of state of crisis. And my brain was like, what on earth am I doing? I called myself out, my ego, my mind, you know, my mind energy called me out. It's like, why are you doing this? You can't do this. What if it's not good enough? What will people say? What will people think? Will people want to listen to what you have to say to a greater degree? All of this stuff. Um, and I knew that it was the path to go down and I knew that this was a challenge to overcome because the universe sent me a test in communication from people challenging me over my abilities and when we're in this situation right spirit says okay which way are you going to go are you going to like disappear off back to your cave into your comfort zone licking your wounds feeling sorry for yourself or are you going to just use that as a this most divine gift to go right I hear what you're saying I know how I'm feeling but I'm just going to go ahead and do this anyway and smash through and that's when the biggest breakthroughs happen in the greatest discomfort and honoring yourself and your feelings about how you feel about everything but going and doing that thing anyway so it was a very interesting scenario it come up from me because uh, my Capricorn is in my second house so it's all about you know my life's work my my security my foundations the work I do um, the abundance around that fully 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 knowing that in order to create that level of abundance and joy and being of higher service in that house I needed to break free of this anyway so I um, did a couple of things first off I was just so compelled to go into my Akashic Records to learn a bit more and align with my soul but learn a bit more about why this was coming up and get really to the to the root understanding of what the limiting belief was within myself and it is around being seen it is around being heard um, and so having understood that I got really in tune and in alignment with my self, my sort of, I call it my celestial pillar of light within, got really aligned and intuitively knew what I needed to do. So I sat and I tuned in and I created a an energetic transmission to help me to feel really feel the feelings that I was having so that I could understand them so I could then sort of use them and transmute them into something positive so this crisis of confidence energy transmission I um, created if you want to do it yourself go to samanthalenny.com and go to the programs menu um, how to deal with the confidence crisis and you can do this for yourself I went in I did this created this transmission actually sat in this transmission and once I had done that I came out and just had the most amazing 
shift, I felt like a different woman. <laughs> I felt lighter and I also felt taller. Um, and this is what happens when you sit in, in a frequency, a high vibrational frequency, like your Akashic Records, like the Celestial Violet Light, that, that this is what it is here, <laughs> a depiction of it. Um, being in that frequency downloads you, offers you so much information, so much information that is already within you. It's your soul's information on how to best proceed, how best to overcome the crisis of confidence, that self-esteem challenge, whatever it is that you have decided that you're going to accomplish this year. Um, to really look into the obstacles of that and overcome that through aligning with a much higher frequency, a higher vibration of ultimately divine love. And so I, as I say, I moved through this frequency and felt like a new woman. In fact, what actually happened was that I was like, wow, I just, I've received such a shift that the, the thing that I'd been procrastinating over or one of the things that, that I felt like I wasn't able to do, that I felt that, you know, wasn't possible or it was just such an insurmountable goal um, and things that kept getting in the way to stop me from doing that. And this is like technical stuff, technological stuff. Um, suddenly disappeared. All of, the, all of the, the hassles, the obstacles, the problems disappeared. And I had this real sense of empowerment and strength and knowing in what I actually had to do. So it cleared the decks. It cleared the decks within me energetically, but most, most, most importantly, I had moved through, I'd healed a limiting belief that I wasn't able to accomplish this thing, even though I, I knew I was going to because my soul sent me on the path to accomplishing it. Um, and so as I share this, it's really important to trust your inner knowing. It's really important to intimately feel those desires, but also fully feel the crises, the um, worry, the anxiety, because everything is on purpose there is things that arrive in your feeling space, in your energetic space that are there to be witnessed as a gift in the way that once you receive them, they are going to help you. They're going to give you the, the tools. They're going to help you unlock the key to the thing that is currently standing in your way to then help you to move forward and progress with whatever choices you've made for yourself. So, <laughs> whatever confidence crisis you're moving through at the moment, just know that it's there to help you to grow, to help you to see in much more detail, the subconscious beliefs, the stories, the, the limiting beliefs that are held within your field, your energy field, that aren't required. They're gonna move, move to be moved out so you can then progress. And it might be a really small thing, it might be a, a larger thing, but the universe will give you those tests so that you can see them, witness them, accomplish them to move on. 
they're in your energy field it's in your sort of karmic contract if you like to be healed because if you didn't need to heal from it you wouldn't it wouldn't be coming up as a test it wouldn't be in your field so everything has a purpose there's a reason for everything and feeling that you have it's okay it's okay to feel how you're feeling and with everything right when we accomplish something when you're able to accomplish and move through something you know that in 12 months time you're going to look back and it's going to seem such a a small challenge that you overcome and it's going to seemingly have um it's going to feel like it wasn't really that impactful it's going to feel as if um it wasn't really a challenge at all given what you've then gained as a result of moving through it of course it's hindsight right <laughs> if we knew then if we know then what we knew now or the other way around you know what i'm saying then we wouldn't be having having these these challenges we would know what the outcome was going to be and that's another energy that is part of this overall confidence crisis challenge is that you don't know what's coming ahead the fear of the unknown sends you into a spiral of well because i don't know what's going to happen i can't move forward and so that's why it's so important to come back into alignment with yourself to be in the higher frequency when i'm reading the records the akashic records for clients a lot of questions come up around uncertainty over something and it's an uncertainty of which avenue to take what decision to make and when you're in the frequency of your own records you get to feel that higher frequency the frequency of your energetic highest energetic self the frequency that aligns with your heart with your soul with your higher self and it's a practice right it's a practice when i read the records for clients i feel the frequency it's a very quick frequency and so does the client they feel and and are able to interpret more profoundly the frequency of their records as well and this is very easy or becomes easier to attain the more you practice being in your middle space so as you go on your journey of fulfilling your life's purpose going through and achieving those missions those big goals you are going to come across crises of confidence it is part of the human condition energetically speaking every time you achieve a milestone you achieve a step you overcome the crisis you overcome that feeling of anxiety or self esteem or that you're not capable or that you're not strong enough whatever it is every time you overcome that feeling it is another layer of your energy field your energetics that you have healed that you have accomplished as well on an energetic level we're human beings 
you're going to be met with challenges the art the grace is to lean into them and to work with those challenges none of us get away with not doing the work since that's what we've come here to do is to experience to love and to overcome even as a healer right and this is the thing I wish that there would be other healers other energy workers other natural therapists that would actually um, tell more of their journey and their ongoing journey because we don't see that enough we don't see that visibility online enough just because you're a healer helping to um, help other people overcome their challenges doesn't mean that we've done all of the work doesn't mean that other healers have done all of their work and they're this sort of perfect perfect um, doesn't mean that they're, they're their perfect self and so don't be fooled into feeling like some people you're looking at people that seem to have had, have it all have done all of their work and everything's perfect versus others that haven't everyone is still on the journey while we are alive on this earth we're still 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 evolving and working through our challenges so i'm hope by me sharing my stories that um, this is going to inspire you because I tell you I'm still working through a lot of stuff myself and I think it's healthy to share that I think it's healthy to be truthful in that and you know to be very clear that that's the case so if you're self doubting your abilities your choices the goals that you want to um, achieve at the moment then whether it's you that's struggling with them or whether it's feedback from other people who are having opinions making judgments on your choices that you are making let these experiences be the catalyst be the um, help if you like the experience to empower you to continuing along your way to achieving what you want to achieve remind yourself that it is just a feeling it isn't an actual tangible thing it's a feeling it's an emotion that's running through the body it doesn't stop inside the body it's running through your body it's an energy frequency that's running through your body that's helping you to unlock whatever it is within you that needs to change in order for you to then progress along your route it's like a monopoly board and you get to to um, you pass go to, to to collect your 200 this is what you're doing it's just a pause and a moment in time not even a pause it's a moment in time where to go in and explore why it is that this current challenge is coming up why is it in the way why is it an obstacle in the way to you achieving what you need and it's generally an external source it's coming externally towards you to be seen healed released transmuted so you can carry on on your journey and if you're feeling stuck with that just get in touch and I can help you to unlock that so you can move on so you can grow and evolve so I hope this was useful so good to hang out with you today thank you for bringing your energy to this session and i'll see you again soon take care